underscore is the Instagram brand. I will have it in the description box below. This is the palette. This is the look. I'm not going to give you any more insiders. If you want to see how I got this look, please like and subscribe to my channel. Do not forget to like, do not forget to subscribe, and do not forget to turn on that post notifications. Let's get right into this video. Good morning. It turns out, let me flip the screen real quick because I cannot have my eyes open when it's sunny outside. It's the cutest thing ever and my scrunchie from Cheeky Scrunchie. That's Cheeky's and then Scrunchie's and you'll find the website on it. Instagram, of course. Why don't we get newspapers? It's so nice out here. I just woke up to come get my mail. Sorry if I'm dragging my chancolas, but like I just woke up. I ain't got the energy to pick them all the way up. Like, we're who got time for that? Good morning. Good morning. It's 12 o'clock. You're probably like this bitch. No, I don't know. Freaking mess with keys, man. Like push, turn right. This way. Flying, flicky. I got mail. I know there wasn't, I didn't know if there was gonna be, I put water in my hair cause it woke up kind of crazy and it still looks kind of crazy until it dries out. But I didn't know if I was gonna have mail at all. So I just came to look so I can come outside and have a little walk or whatever. <laughs> I look dead. <laughs> that was funny. So here's something in here. And then there's other things in here. Oh, I know what this is. This is A1 Aesthetics Brow Cream. This is the company with the little giraffe as their logo. So it says, thank you. Hi, Nicole. Thank you for your interest in my products. Here are a few of them. More products dropping soon. I hope you enjoy all these products. Here's a coupon code for your followers. A1 Nicole for 30% off. Also, as our partner, we hope you could do a YouTube video featuring our products. That's what we will be doing today. I don't know what I was going to film today, but now I know. So we have an eyebrow cream. Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. This is an eyebrow cream in the shade. Oh, it comes with these little brushes. Aw, it folds out. That's cute. Very inventive. We like her. Oh, I got all four, I guess, because there's... No, actually, I think I got all three. Um, This is in the shade, what the... Number one. Which, number one, I don't know what shade that is. Number one shade. So I guess like lightest. And then eyebrow cream again. This is three. Oh, this is really light. That's nice, huh? So I guess these are eyebrow creams. Well, duh, Nicole. Oh, this is darker. Dang, if I would have got this yesterday and I did the eyebrow tutorial. Oh, Nigel is laying down, my sweet poo poo. And then we got lip gloss, which is good because I've been really interested in lip gloss lately. I really love the giraffe logo. It is. It's so cute. I really like how they had this one package. Oh, this one package. And then they put this extra, cause probably it's fragile. So I like that, that it's very secure packaging. 
I like the name of their brand, A1 Aesthetics. This one is... Hmm. Ooh. This is different for me because it's out of my comfort zone, but... Nice color. It's a, in the shade Passion. I like that. I think it has shimmers in it. I was going to use it as a thing on my... Keep it all pretty, you know, for filming purposes. Keep it all nice. I really like that I got multiple pomades, so now I can try them out differently if I wanted to see which ones are different. I mean, which ones that I like. Um, did I put the lip gloss back in already? I don't know. Let's see what, use this one. That'd be funny if I opened the same one. Ooh, I like this color. It's in this color Orchid. I love this color. It's a perfect fall color. Look at that. And all of these are animal cru like animal cruelty, animal cruelty free. Like they're animal. They're not animal cruelty. They're not tested on animals. There we go. Oh my God. Bless my soul. Uh, where did this one come from? Ooh, I like this one. It's like pumpkin spice. The vibes. Hell yeah, you're the vibes. Hell yeah. Okay. I think I already opened this one though. Because it's popped, right? Yeah. Okay, so the next one, let's let's look what it is. It came in this. It says thank you. Super cute. It's a palette. A1 Aesthetics. I want to show y'all the giraffe. It's so cute. I like how they have it on everything. Look how cute that is. That's so adorable. And the giraffe. Look at his little eyeballs. Wow. You're probably not supposed to open it like that, but... Wow. One concerned with the beauty of appreciation. Her eyes give great aesthetic pleasure. Wow, this is so cute. It came with the pink. Look at the pink. Wow, very nice. Dark brown. These are all dark colors over here. Green. So it has a very variety of everything. Basically pink. Your two oranges. You can do the brown. So you can do that shimmer. You can do natural. You can do pop of good. This blue, you can darken it up with this one. Purple, you can add something different. I love it. I stand. So let me find something with their logo so I can show you. Okay. So this is the brand name. A1 Aesthetics. Oh yeah, cruelty free. There we go. Not animal cruelty free. It's just called cruelty free. My bad. So the colors but that I'm going to be using, I already started on this side, but I'm just going to keep you a little bit updated through the process as I'm playing with the colors, but I want to film doing this eye. Just bear with what I'm doing, okay? So what I'm doing right now, I was going to use the yellow one first and then put the green and then cut the crease and then do a liner and silver glitter on top of the liner. But the yellow didn't show up as much as I thought it was going to show up. So what I'm going to do is put green, uh, try and blend it out with yellow and if that doesn't work then I'll just end up putting brown in my crease to define it which this brown over here but for right now I'm going in with the color Grande which is actually a really good pigmented color I really do like it Hold on, let me get some it's a really good pigmented color I'm done but I really like the company's um, lip gloss. I've been using the clear one. I, this is like my third apply. Just because I keep like wiping it off. Because I was swiping, uh, swiping. I was, I don't know where to put this palette because it's so big. So all I'm doing is packing it on. I really want it to be packed on first before I really start doing all the blending. And I'm gonna pull it out just a little bit and I'm doing circular motions because I don't want it to get patchy or anything. So I'm just being really careful, treating it like a little baby. 
and I'm pulling it out just a tad like this one so just a little bit like this All I'm gonna do is dip back into the palette and just keep adding some into here, into the crease, into here. Yes, I'm wearing that mint jacket from yesterday's haul because I love it so much. <laughs> I really did actually like it as much as I was talking about it. I could not stop raving over it. I feel like it's not as long, but it is as long. Like, they're the same size, but it just looks different. So, yeah. All I do is repeat this process until the pigment on my lid is as dark as I want it. And then I start, like, blowing it out. So far, so good, though. I like the colors. So I'm completely switching the way I'm doing this tutorial. What I'm going to do is blend this out really nice and put a blue in here. Cut the crease with the blue. It'll look so nice, especially with that silver on top of the liner. Hopefully the blue um, is pigmented, but for right now, um, Blending this out so that when I cut the crease, there's still some of this nice green. So let me blend this out really, really, really good. Just so I can really pop behind the blue. If I don't do the blue, then I sound dumb, but in my head, it looks really good. Blue, like better than brown, because brown would dull the whole color. I really think that that blended out really nicely because like it's super subtle. I love it. Like over here it looks like it's missing some, but like it's okay because the crease is getting a cut there, so whatever. It's always that eye, my filming eye. Well, this is my filming eye too, but that's my main filming eye. It always wants to try to play me. Like, Let's see how this blue works and we'll come right in. But it turns out that blue was a really good idea because look at that. Look at that smooth, cute, and it goes so nicely. I love it. So, let me show y'all what I'm working with. Just kidding. That was so ugly. I think I got concealer in my hair. Okay, let's get it. So, all I did was pack like a whole bunch of blue there, there, in my crease. I don't know why I keep saying there. Move all this stuff out of the way because I cannot be going back and forth with this palette. So all I did was pack my blue into my crease, but not too high, and start making the little shape of the little blue shadow. Look how pigmented, like, and smoothly it blended out. It blended out with, like, no effort. The only reason why I keep going back into the pan is because I want it even darker. But just put one dip, it's pretty good. Like, look how dark that is. And you can see how the green is thin. So what I do, I pack on the blue as much as I want. And then I go back and I add that green shadow. So it can look like this. So you can still see the green on top. It's just a little messy process. If you ask me. So... Keep packing, packing. I really love how I came up with that blue last minute. I'm not mad about it at all. Because if I did brown, it would have been like too... I've been doing a lot of brown shades lately. I try to stay away from brown because if not, I get too comfortable. And I'm going on a streak of doing creative looks. So brown's not really my best friend right now. But right now, I'm just going to go ahead and keep packing this on. And then I'm going to move on to... Uh, what is it? Adding the green. <laughs> it's like bad luck to have a broken mirror, but I'm watching all the, I'm making all y'all look at this broken mirror. So I guess all y'all got bad luck with me. Okay, so I'm blending it out and it's blending out pretty good. Literally, it's blending out so good. 
I'm gonna take my Jelly Wings Cosmetics like brush cleaner and just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Mm. Done. Now I'm gonna take this green color. The reason why I like this brush because it's so precise. Like I don't know, I just found it in my drawer and I was like, wow, where have you been? I know I gotta sneeze. I know it's coming. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Appreciate you. So now I'm just adding that green up here. But you see how I put it like a lot on top? What I'm going to do is start bringing it in like that. Now I'm in. Now I'm mixing. Now we're mixing, Shuck. Ooh, I must die on saliva. Now we're mixing, Shuddy. Mix, mix, mix. And then I'm going to slowly start pulling up the green even higher. I want the green to start coming up here to my eyebrow bone. It looks a mess. Trust me, I know. I was freaked out. That's why I didn't want to come back on here. Until I had like a little bit of proof that it gets better. See, it, it gets better. It, get, it looks like this to look like that. But, yeah. There we go. Now we lost the definition of the blue. So what we're going to do is go in the blue. To be honest, I don't know what the hell is like what this side of my eye drinks at night, but it picks up the pigment like crazy. So now what I'm gonna do is just blend out the green on the top because I packed on a lot, but just because I need it to stay because it blends out really good. So I want it to be pigmented. Okay, so my eye looks like a mess. <laughs> Fall out, I know. But what I'm gonna do is start doing my cut crease and then blending out the top colors once the cut crease is there. This is not a full cut crease, it's a half cut crease, basically. Cause like my full one would be like a little bit higher. Oh wow. I'm glad that not hit everything. But this one's like half of the crease. Now we blend everything else. <laughs> I swear concealer, when I'm doing cut creases, is my favorite part because it, it makes me feel better because I feel so nervous like when it comes to like, oh my eyes got really watery, what? I feel so nervous when it comes to how it looks without being like with liner this this i'm like why does it look so crazy and then i start fixing it up, adding all the missing the little pieces and it starts looking better so i'm gonna take a little bit of my powder and start you know 
sealing this in. This one is a little bit higher than the other one, but can't always be perfect. My stomach just growled and burped. Now I'm going to use my Banks here eyeliner just like I use the brow items. I'm going to use my liner. Bingo. <laughs> Hold on, I need good lighting because we're in the mall. We don't really know where we're going. I'm looking for the color pot. It's Andy, babe. How you doing? Oh, no. You wanna see in this door? No, you looking. Are you still looking? You chilling? Yeah. Cause there's Sephora over there. I'm gonna go on that side. It's right there. Black ones? Or these are big, but they fit so. Hi! I have a question. Look at these. They're $36 but 60% off, so they're $16. But which one? These ones or the black ones? These? Not those, right? Because black is whatever. Sweatshirts. Sweatshirts? I've... That's not a sweater, that's a dress. Really Guys, so that's the end of this look. I really do like how it came out. I really do think that this palette is worth it. This brand is worth all the hype that I'm giving it because it's so multi-purpose. You can do yellow, brown, and like a little shimmer look. You can do a pink look. You can do rainbow color look. It has all the perfect shimmers. Like, I think it's really such a nice palette. See the pinks? You can do the, that pink. Oh, wait. You can do that one, then you can darken it up, that shimmer. You can do the green, you can darken it up with the brown. You can put a yellow in the cut crease and then the yellow shimmer outline. It's just so fun and you can do so many creative looks with this. If you want to check out this brand, their brand name is A1 Aesthetic underscore. And then my discount code is A1 Nicole for 30% off. Save some money, get some gloss, get some new palettes because that palette was totally worth the hype. The pigment, you did not have to work hard for it, obviously. It came off a lot on this side. I was a little bit more heavy-handed on this side of my eye, but it's okay. Shit like that happens. This was the look that we wanted to achieve, and this side was a little bit more heavy-handed, but it's okay because I like them both, and we had fun being here, right? We had fun being here, right? 
So without further ado, further ado, bitch. I don't know how many times I did this outro, bitch. Like, I'm so mad, but we're going to keep this outro, okay? So don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to turn on them post notifications. And I will see y'all in my next video, bitch. Just kidding. Bye. <laughs>